I've been really fortunate enough already to work with a brand um, over a two seasonal kind of campaign, which was great and around different assets. But I find with a lot of the projects that come in is that it's very sometimes last minute and a lot of things have already been decided and the issue with a lot of things is the time that's missing. It feels very much like the beginning, we're, we're actually just wrapping up the first issue now which is due out in um, I think a month to six weeks time and we just looked at the, the first issue as a team yesterday and it feels, you know, just super exciting, I think. It's a huge achievement and it makes me feel incredibly proud. My partner said, you know, if you looked at yourself as a, as a kid, or like when you were in college or uni, and then you fast forwarded 10 years and told, you know, told yourself this is what you'd be doing, you know, think of that achievement. And that kind of really put things into perspective as well. Yeah, this is, I grew up just here. A creative role as a career was never ever on my radar. I think growing up there, I always had a sense of wanting something else outside of where I grew up. And I think a big part of that is with me being queer. When I was a teenager, like 17, 16, 17, I started to meet people who I could relate to. And a lot of them were at art college um, in Middlesbrough. So they just said to me like, Come and come and be here. I kind of absolutely fluked my way into it. Kind of put together a portfolio, some pictures, and um, yeah, I, it was on that course that I kind of really found a love for it and a love for design and a love for creating. And so I then moved to London and went to London College of Communication. I was doing design for visual communication there, and we did work experience on the course, and I interned for a creative director in London and it kind of really opened my eyes to, to what this role is and the different experiences you can have within this role. As a creative director, being able to do the work myself is very important. My attention to detail on things is sometimes not human, I think. I've worked with a mix of creative directors who do everything, who know how to do every small detail themselves and also I've worked with creative directors who don't even open a computer and obviously you bring very different things to the table but for me it's so important to be able to do the work because also it's part of my collaboration process. I really love being able to open up a layout, for example, the likes of another and looking at that on a on the screen and seeing what some of my team have done but then also taking it and being able to add to it or redo it and it's also a huge part of the process that I still find incredibly exciting like I don't think I could be doing what I'm doing without doing the kind of day-to-day -day moving around of things. A few people actually on the past year have asked me who's my dream brand, who's my dream client um, and I always say I don't have one just because I think it's nice to look at everything with like a free open mind. But one thing I, I kind of always feel like I haven't, well, had the opportunity to do yet is to really have time with a client where we sort of work on building something together. When I speak to people I've worked for in the past, they used to have time you know, 10, 20 years ago, it was there. They just had more time for thinking, more time to look at the creative. And I think that's something that every creative could use more of, um, myself included. And, you know, I think having more time allows you to put more into the process. It allows you to go deeper. It allows you to build a big, better relationship. It allows you to have more input and you know that's why this is where I feel I can be my most valuable is is in that kind of initial process where creative decisions are being made, creative ideas are being injected and I think if if part of that process is opened back up again to creatives, not just creative directors, photographers, directors, I think what we'll see in in a response to that is is a lot more 
of a, of a creative injection. We were a remote studio for the first two years. Um, it's only now that we're in physical space. So the pandemic and the new ways that working was challenged for our creatives really gave me the breathing space and allowed me to really think about how I want my studio to work, how I wanted it to run. I think as a creative director, we're constantly faced with challenges. So it was something that I, I just really embraced and it's kind of, if anything, helped us as a studio be more flexible and yeah, be more receptive to, to other ways of working as well. Yeah, I think gender roles in the creative industry today is still very important and I still think it's um, incredibly important to challenge those. One of the reasons I did set up my own studio um, was to occupy the space um, as a female creative director. I, and I think there's still so much space for other female creatives to be in the creative director roles too. Outside of art direction, it's still incredibly important to be challenging gender roles everywhere and challenging the kind of what society's norm is of today and um, yeah, keep pushing. Where I get the inspiration from the most is just like having the time to be outside. It helps me really reset my brain. It really allows me just to kind of like take a moment and be, you know, oh, sorry, that dog keeps going. Definitely shadowing and like learning from people whose work I found to be very inspirational and exciting. One thing I would say is like not to put too much pressure, pressure or stress on yourself. I think there's a natural element of stress that comes with this industry it's like everybody cares a lot and there's a certain level of care i think it's important to have but at the same time i think it's also important to look after yourself your well-being it's working in different places i think and finding what works for you as a creative i mean it's quite cliche but i think just have fun while you do it this industry i think is an industry that can allow you to be in positions and have experiences that I don't think you would have in other industries. So I think for that reason it's, it's a very exciting one and it's one that I'm very glad that I got the opportunity to be a part of.